The most sets in the history of the show. The most momentum out of any character ever in the history of the show. Selling out everywhere. Opening for all the greats, doing his own thing. The Memphis Strangler, the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. He actually did try that earlier, bro. Holy shit. What the fuck, man? What the fuck did you just say to me, man? a lot of mustard and mayonnaise on my sandwiches. And just for the record, I fucking went to kindergarten twice. There is nothing wrong with that. It was called transition. A trans woman was just named International Woman of the Year, only proving it's still a man's world. But seriously, there was a change to the rules last year. Now to be eligible, you have to have a dick. <laughs> it reminds me of when I asked Red Band if he thought women were funny, and he said, only if you count trans women. Red Band, what did you mean by that? <laughs> Holy shit, that was so weird. I just read where the TV show Night Court was found guilty of being America's favorite new comedy. <laughs> okay, he kind of got it. <laughs> I'm excited to be in the comedy mothership, but was a little worried how Red Band would handle the move, so Red Band, just know, I can be your hero, Red Band. I can kiss away the pain. I will stand with you forever. You can take my breath away. Redman, why did you tell me to fucking put my cameo money in the fucking Silicon Valley bank, you piece of shit? <laughs> that was all my money, bitch! <laughs> okay, that's my time. William Montgomery doing what only a William Montgomery can do. Everybody else trying to fill a minute. William doing a minute 40 seconds every single week of brand fucking new stuff. Unbelievable. The Big Red Machine still in full effect. You guys have seen him before. What do you think about it? Very him? funny. I, yeah. love, I love that fucking uh, Night Court joke. That really made Thank me Thank you. Yeah, nobody else laughed. It was so, so funny. It was nice yeah. you to... And I have to say, I'm kind of starstruck right now. I loved you in American History X and Fight Club. That was so cool, <laughs> Mr. Norton. Thank you very much. Mr. Norton, you were really good in those. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. I loved you on To Catch a Predator. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was on two of those episodes, so. Wow. That's cool you remember me. I was, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the Big Red Machine meets the machine. Bert, what do you think about William Montgomery? Uh, I, 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 I want to, I, I don't, I can't say anything. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. He reminds me of a friend we used to have where there's like an unbridled energy mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's fun to watch and I'm like fucking... And I love the more confidence you get because the funner it is to watch you have fun on stage. Uh, we, what happened to your friend? <laughs> is he doing good now or what happened to him? He, hu he hung himself. Yes. Go. Ah. <laughs> so hopefully you'll continue reminding us of him. <laughs> You'll be doing it any minute. <laughs> uh, have you ever thought? Have you ever thought about putting a uh, pu <laughs> putting a what? Have you ever thought about putting an end to it all? When I was drinking and doing a bunch of cocaine, I specifically never had a gun because I probably would have ended shooting, ending up shooting myself with it. So I didn't. Oh, you were sober. You look better. Yeah, thank you. I feel a bunch better. I've been on Ozempic. It's. <laughs> Are you on Ozempic too? I'm no, I'm not on Ozempic. Oh, oh, oh. hey, we're all on Ozempic. Why? <laughs> I'm not. What do you think we're doing in Austin? <laughs> <laughs> Getting Ozempic. <laughs> you look good, man. You look good. Are you a deadhead? Yeah, I love some Grateful Dead. Okay, yeah, you look good. I remember when he was more overweight back. Oh, in the day. he was a bloated pig. It was unbelievable. Yeah. That's we... what quitting drinking looks like, Bert. Yeah. It's, uh, uh... Oh, 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 what are you? Who are you talking to? Black kettle. <laughs> the fuck.
Look at Red Man and I talk about weight loss advice to each yeah. other. Nothing better like than getting... Like Paula Dean talking to the Grand Wizard of the KKK. Yeah. Yeah, he's <laughs> preaching about getting healthy while being <laughs> shaped <laughs> like a snowman. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You, you are very fucking funny and you're fun to watch. You're really fun to watch. Well, and thank you. Your energy is great. Everything. Your instincts are awesome. I, I don't know. I'm yep. You're spot Shit on you, but I like it. It's like nope. aggressive. It's weird. You're like carrot bottom. <laughs> oh shit! I just totally fucking zoned y'all out right there. What did both? What did y'all <laughs> say? I literally was zoning you. So you're really not on Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> I started taking Ozempic because of your fucking ass. Are you really not on it? <laughs> I'm on metformin sometimes, but Wait, no. I'm on metformin too. <laughs> I take metformin. <laughs> By the way, Austin is more LA than LA at this point. The comics yeah. are talking about fucking Ozempic. Yeah. Are you really on it? Yes. Is All that right. why you winked at me earlier? No, it's because didn't you have Lyme's disease? I also had <laughs> Lyme's disease, and I thought I'd read you had Lyme's disease or something. No, you have cerebral palsy. <laughs> You're I on. love that he thinks you guys have so much in common. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait. I thought you had Lyme's disease. I was so excited for you to be here tonight. I thought you were on Zempic. I thought you had Lyme's disease. Do wait, you like strawberry I... ice cream? Dude, I've been eating a bunch get, of... You gotta get off Reddit, dude. You guys have just... Where did you hear all that? Wait, get off Reddit? I'm never fucking gonna get off Reddit. <laughs> I swear to God, I fucking live on fucking Reddit. You love Reddit? Yeah, I'm never getting off of Reddit! I swear to God, nobody's ever gonna get me off of Reddit! <laughs> if you really think, you can stop me! <laughs> Are you ever gonna stop going on Reddit? I'm never gonna stop. And I fucking found this dumbass one time. I was looking on Reddit like, fuck, I cannot, I've never said this story. But fucking like a year ago, I saw some guy that was wishing me death threats. I don't really get on it often, but I found this dumbass piece of shit. And I fucking ended up looking at his, his comments and I was able to pinpoint he was from somewhere in Ohio and I was able to find his fucking name and address and phone number. And I discovered his stupid mom had recently died. So I sent him... Sent him some message where I called him by his first name and said, hey, how's your mom doing? So and so. And then he just deleted all his shit. But that's what he fucking got for wishing. Wow. And I still have your address, dumbass. I'm still gonna fucking kill you one night, you bitch. I swear to God, I still have your address, dumbass. So are you ever gonna stop stalking? I'm never gonna stop stalking this dumb <laughs> Why, why do I feel like when you fuck women, you make them look you in the eye the whole time? Because you're right, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna stop making eye contact! You, him during sex is just, look at me! Look at me! You're that guy. Yes. <laughs> or why do I feel like you hold the girl by the face? God, you have to stop. You have really taken this to a place it shouldn't have gone. Why would you be saying that shit to me up here, right? Why would you be exposing me in front of all these fucking people? Oh. Oh. You've oh. always owned it. Wait, you've been going. Don't make you've it always stop. owned it. Are you ever going to stop owning it? No, I'm never going to stop fucking looking in girls' eyes when I'm ejaculating inside. <laughs> Fucking watching Night Court. I cannot believe that Night Court joke didn't get more love. Yes. The classic, classic uh, sitcom from the, I believe, the late 80s. Yes, late 80s. <laughs> Why? Okay, it backfired on me. I'll, I'll go back to the drawing boards and. No, 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 don't leave. <laughs> Is there anything else interesting that happened this week? Let's catch up with the personal Tell life of a, William Montgomery. Tell us a secret. Well, I've been saving. <laughs> I've been saving a whole bunch of time, Tony. I realized I can uh, brush my teeth and TT at the same time, and it's saving me like a minute out of every single day. Are you sitting down while you're doing this? No, I'm standing up, but my, my, tea, my TT stream goes all over the place, so I have to get better at it. But yeah, man, I've been saving like a minute out of every single day. 
brushing my teeth and peeing at the same time. If anybody needs a life hack, it's a pretty good... I get like an extra minute out of every fucking day. And Tony, those minutes add up. You do that because you like to do that? Do you like love doing that or something? I just have a really shy bladder. A lot of the times I go in bathrooms and pretend like I'm peeing and don't pee and still flush the toilet and then walk back in the bathroom like 10 minutes later. But Tony, I think this really is... <laughs> It's really helping my shy bladder. It's really helping me loosen up down there. It's really so. If anybody needs a life hack, yeah, it takes it. You get like an extra minute, and those add that's seven minutes a week for just extra stuff you can do. So I really have been doing this, Tony. This past week, I've been working on it. What are you doing uh, with the extra time that you have now that you've saved on a daily basis from both peeing and brushing your teeth at the same time? Like, well, are you have you started new hobbies or anything like it's that? It's those things. Remember those puzzles where it's a bunch of letters in like a square and then you find the words inside of the letters. I've been doing those a whole lot of word search. Is that what that's yeah. called? Yeah. yeah, a lot of words. Yep. Mr. Norton, do you ever do the word searches? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. William still convinced that Edward Norton is on the panel tonight. <laughs> yeah. You were insane in American History X. You Thank were you. nuts in that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought you were going to look a little different, but... Yeah, no, no. I meant every word of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. William, how does it feel performing in front of one of your favorite actors here tonight? It's really exciting. I mean, after I heard you weren't picked for uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the main thing, I was thinking that was going to be a downward spiral in the career, but you really saved it with, I think you were the, uh, the voice in Up? Yes. Or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That really was a big rebound, and I really, truly appreciate it. That is a sad fucking movie. The first uh, yes, 10 minutes, is. holy shit. But How did you compose you're, yourself? You're in luck, though, because I am casting a new film, Louis C.K., The Homeless Years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the wheels turning over here. Oh, my God. Oh, look yeah, at this. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to have fucking fun tonight, and my favorite fucking actor is busting my balls up here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> William... William Montgomery. <laughs> what else, William? Anything else new other than word searches? Word searches, a lot of mustard and mayonnaise on my sandwiches. Wait, wait a second. Hold on a second, because you said that a specific way just then. You didn't say mustard and mayo. I've been using a lot of mustard and mayo on my sandwiches. There was a real slang there. Can you explain why you yeah, said I've it? Yeah, I've just been way? eating a bunch of mustard and mayonnaise sandwiches. Or... Wait, wait. What? Have you been? Have you? Uh, mustard and mayonnaise sandwiches. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> been eating a bunch of mustard and mayonnaise sandwiches. Wait, did you go to prison this I've been week? I've eating some mayonnaise and mustard sandwiches. <laughs> Who have you been hanging out with while eating mustard and mayo sandwiches? Because it seems like... I mean, my mom a lot. She's back in town. Mayonnaise and mustard sandwiches. Is there anything else on the sandwiches that you're eating other than mustard? It's just fucking mayonnaise and mustard, Tony. I literally lost all my fucking money in the fucking Silicon Valley Bay. Red Band really told me to put my money there. So you get two slices of bread, and you get mustard and mayo out, and you put mustard and mayo in between the bread, and then yes. you just eat it? both sides. <laughs> Man, both I spread sides. that shit on both sides. <laughs> Tony, you know I spread that shit on both sides. <laughs> Mayonnaise and mustard <laughs> on both sides. That's <laughs> 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 stupid. Man, I eat that shit with both sides. That's just a regular sandwich. If you eat the sandwich with both saw it, that's a. Are you? Ever, is this this new this new thing you're doing? The mustard and mayo sandwiches. Are you planning on ending that anytime soon? Or are you gonna keep doing that? I'm taking it to the Orpheum, baby. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what, what? Was, what was that? You're taking it to the what? The Orpheum is just some theater. I'm gonna be. I'm, I have to get a new job. I'm working at the fucking Orpheum after everything tanked this past week. It's been so bad. Oh, you Red lost Band's all your fucking money. business advice. Yeah, it's bullshit. Everything tanked. 
Wow. Put my 401k in that fucking thing. Everything's fucking gone. Wow. What, what, did, you, what did you put in it? 401k. <laughs> oh, yeah, I put my 401k in, the, in with the NASDAQ. <laughs> what? I don't even know what NASDAQ means! <laughs> Is that somebody's name? Richard NASDAQ? Who's NASDAQ? I don't know. William, you are an unstoppable force. I mean, every single week you come out, you have a longer interview with than anybody. We keep you up here. You stretch it out. You fucking find a way to continue to improvise and be silly. Jim, any closing words for William? Very funny. Very yeah. enjoyable. Really unique. Just great. Loved you. Bert. Thank you. Oh. Best regular. Shut the fuck up, pussy! Yeah. Yep. Yep. Save it for the YouTube comments, faggot. <laughs> Bird, any closing words for William? He's an absolute superstar, selling out all over, featuring for everybody, me, Duncan, Segura, Joe. He's killing it. He moved to Austin, took a fucking chance, thriving. So fucking funny. I love it, man. I'm so lucky that I get to laugh like that. That was fun as shit. <laughs> Goddamn right. I mean... <laughs> the great Whitney Cummings. Any final words? I, just, I can't get enough of you. Yeah. I know. Well, I bet if you stayed at your house, you could. <laughs> yeah, I swear I would look you right in your fucking eyes. When <laughs> we were... <laughs> William, when, when you go to L.A., maybe you should fucking hang out at Whitney's house. Whitney, what do you think? I, it would be a pleasure to be <laughs> strangled by you to death. Thank you so much, and I can bring the Ozempic. Thank you so much. William motherfucking Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen, and like that, we did it. We did it. A local legend, ladies and gentlemen, Casey Rocket. Oh, I never made it as a wise man. <laughs> Get real, real trap shit, come on. <laughs> Fastest guy in the room who gives a shit, come on. <laughs> Gotta keep moving, fellas. Putin's trying to triangulate my position right now. <laughs> Get lost, come on. <laughs> oh, packing a Parmesan? Okay, we're having fun. Who's with me, guys, huh? Get real. <laughs> I'm doing an hour and a half. Who gives a fuck? We're closing it down. <laughs> Fucking pranked your ass, come on, man. Damn, a roast comic and a prop comic? What is this, the worst shit you've ever fucking seen? Come on, man. <laughs> Goddamn, Putin hates this motherfucker. He can't stand me, boys, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, Putin, I got five words for you, sweetie. Never made it as a wise man? Come on. Man. Yeah, yeah. Is up here riffing our hearts out, boys. Come on now. <laughs> I won't lie to you folks, I got six more harmonicas hidden around the room here tonight. <laughs> In six minutes, the room will start filling with water. You have six minutes to find the remaining harmonicas. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> you didn't think the crab was bluffing, did you? Big pranks daily. <laughs> yeah, I used to prank myself all the time in college. It was called what? Taking Xanax. Who's with me, boys? Huh? <laughs> I was like, hey, Casey, hear me out. I know you got an 8 a.m., but what if you woke up in jail? Okay. <laughs> Never made it as a wise man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I've had a lot of weird jobs in my life. I used to strip copper off Malaysian Flight 370. Uh, <laughs> before it took off. Uh, <laughs> that's on me. Come on. <laughs> Scientists can't stand me. <laughs> I just got diagnosed with reverse Benjamin Button's disease last week. 
That's where I age normally, but I what? Still have the penis of a baby. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the Stuart Little stuff's working. Come on. Oh, it's not Stuart Little. Hey, I got some for you. It's a picture of Grimace during the fall of Berlin. So, <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> you, just put, yeah, you just put it, you want to pass it around? Everybody take a peek out. Everybody gets a turn, everybody gets a turn. Okay, I got something for you guys. It's a second picture of Grimace at the fall of Berlin, so guys. <laughs> get eyes up front. Come on. <laughs> I come from old money. I got hundreds of these things. I got briefcases full of shit like that. You would not believe it. Fucking Biden's piss, trust me. <laughs> I come from old money. My dad was that paperclip on Microsoft Word. I don't even need to be here tonight. <laughs> Talking about how can I help you. For starters, he could have drove me to football practice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Drunk bastard. You know? But that was dad. That was dad. I'm going to Blair Witch this set. <laughs> Never what, never who what, wise man. <laughs> Nights like these, I always think about my grandpa, folks. When I was a kid, my grandpa used to always, always sit down and he used to always give me the best advice. He used to always sit me down and go. <laughs> that was grandpa. You know? He was almost completely nonverbal. You know, it's just the way it was. And when he did talk, it was always about industrial society and its future, you know, but that was Grandpa. He was a Unabomber, you know what I mean? <laughs> Since the 90s, you could Unabomb back then, okay? Come on now. Here's the thing about taking pills, folks. <laughs> if you don't want me to take so many pills, <laughs> don't make them so small. Uh, <laughs> 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 if Oxycontin was the size of cheeseburgers, nobody would overdose on it. <laughs> oh, no thanks, I couldn't possibly have another Perk 30. I've had three, dude, I'm stuffed. <laughs> I could eat 200 Ambien. I could eat 200 Ambien right now. Fucking Pelosi couldn't do a thing to stop me either, I'll tell you. <laughs> I could eat 200 Ambien and still have enough room in me to eat a Philly cheesesteak while I'm checking all the car door handles in my apartment complex. <laughs> Never who what, wise man? Thank you guys, I'm Casey Rocket. Wow, 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 wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Casey Rocket. Holy shit. Thank you. An absolute fucking firestorm. Jokes, constant movement, <laughs> extreme entertainment. You are such you. an original, such a force. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> I gotta go back to the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the clock. <laughs> I'm on a riff-based salary. <laughs> it's 100 riffs an hour, it's like six coins or so. It's coin-based. No riffs, no coins, eight coins, eight riffs. You know how it is. You guys get it. You coin are based. the shit. You are working right now. Uh, Shane, what do you think about the young buck, Casey I love it. Rock? I love it. I saw him, uh, was it last night? Yeah. Two nights ago? Yeah, it was hilarious, dude. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. It's great. It. <laughs> yeah. It's great. You got to stop complimenting people so hard on intros. It seemed like it he worked survived. out. He survived that. It seemed like it, he just got a standing ovation. No, I him. know. No, it, was, it wasn't for your fucking intro. Well, I know it wasn't from the intro. <laughs> no, I'm saying you got to. It's a tough. You can't. When you bring someone out, you can't go, this guy is the next big thing. You're going to remember this forever. Yeah. That's a huge amount of pressure. Yeah, yeah, well. but that's how good he is. Like, we yeah. know that he's going to fucking Guys, do. Guys, yeah. you're doing exactly what I said not to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's not getting through, is it? 
what I'm saying. No, it's that's all. That's all right. that's old New York rhetoric. What you're speaking right now, <laughs> dude. I've been in New York for two years. Oh, okay. <laughs> in any matter, we knew Casey could follow. Anyway, yeah. Casey, you're great. Thank you, um, Shane. Uh, you were at Creek and Cave like four months ago, and my buddy um, named Gareth Fisk had the picture of Grimace at the fall of Berlin because I leave him all around like a breadcrumb trail. And uh, in case I didn't take too many Ambien, fucking get lost. And uh, he had it outside yeah. Creek, and he said he was all the way across Creek, Creek and Cave, and you were like, "Hey, man, is that a picture of Grimace at the fall of Berlin?" <laughs> like you like it. You, you like clocked it. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's K cool. Casey, I'm interested to know. I don't know uh, what if you're going to... I don't know. I don't even know what the real you is like at all. But I'm going to ask it anyway. You talk a lot about prescription pills throughout your act. Uh, do you really take a lot of pills? I used to take a lot of pills. Eat a lot of pills. Yeah. What was that like? What, what, and how did you stop? How did what, what? What were you into? What was going on? Is that all like kind of based off of your former life? Yeah, yeah. I used to drink a lot of Robitussin and uh, yeah, eat a lot of delicious stinky little pills, delicious devious pills, and um, for stinky little boys. And I don't like that part. Um, but yeah, I used to I didn't like the end. Uh, yeah, take a lot of pills, eat a lot of pills. What was your question? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I used to eat a lot of pills, and then I just stopped. Yeah, I had a bad... I'm sober. I've been sober for a while. I've been sober for two years, probably. Wow. Yeah. You have that. You have that sober snap. Yeah. Just brave. Just really brave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, other than stand-up comedy, which obviously you're getting a lot of uh, validation and dopamine and serotonin from that, but other than stand-up, what else are you into? Everything? I was having something going on with the microphone. This place is haunted. Uh, <laughs> it is pretty creepy. <laughs> Yeah, after after a shift, me and the door guys just go around and look for treasure till like four a.m. It's awesome. There's holes in all the drywall. Um, have you found? What have you found? What kind of treasures have you found? Skellington. So Skeleton. Skellington. 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 Jack. <laughs> Dozens Jack. of Skellingtons. Dozens hundreds, possibly hundreds of Skellingtons. <laughs> oh, yeah. No better treasure than skeletons. Um. Uh, yeah, no, no treasure. I can't remember the other part of the, part of the question. Yeah, it's fun. Everything's going it's great. Absolutely. You've been doing a lot of spots. This mm -hmm. is your second spot tonight, probably, right? You already did the other room? Yeah, did the little room. Taught him a lesson they'll probably never forget, honestly. God, <laughs> goddamn right. <laughs> goddamn right. This big fat laughs for cool dudes. Um, <laughs> it was badass. He thinks so, too. And it's awesome. Yeah, this is second set for me. I think, honestly, I have shin splints. You ever seen uh, The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke? Yeah. That's what I felt like when I was up here. This is, like, this is my Ram Jam. This is my Ram Jam set. I'm gonna be, doctors told me like six months ago, they were like, you gotta stop riffing like that. <laughs> if you wanna riff with your kids, <laughs> if you wanna riff with your kids in, si in six years, like the timetable's that low. They're like, six years from now, you gotta think about your body. And I was like, what if wieners were haunted, pussy? And uh, yeah. just a riff, like, fired off a riff, like, off the dome. And he was like, whoa, that was awesome. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> you, you are an cool. unstoppable force. Uh, there's nothing uh, other than uh, you relapsing on pills and overdosing that can possibly <laughs> stop the trajectory of your career. My question's this, because we're all going to watch you uh, continuously. I mean, um, you know, we watched what Hans has done over the past couple years, and you are uh, just a freak You of could nature. be the next Hans Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Keep working. But what I want to know is, at this stage right now, what's your uh, living situation like? Because uh, normally... Oh, yeah. I think I lived in my car last time, right? Yeah, I got two cars. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Top and bottom. Yeah, there's a, I had a crane drop them off. You can't sleep in them, but they're fucking there. Uh, <laughs> they're there, and you go, that, yeah. this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Crawl up the steps. Anyway, I don't know. Are you still sleeping in a car? No, you? I got a home. I have a home, and yeah, full couch, dresser, home stuff. Yeah, TV station, and not TV that. A TV, not, okay, I'm spiraling. Yeah, I got a TV. 
Uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's take it down. Uh, I got a team. Not the laughs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm in the riff zone right now. Somebody stop me. This entire set. This entire set's being fed to me through a pair of Bluetooth headphones right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm a homeless man in Boca Raton. Uh, <laughs> you're the crap man. Uh, 90s shit. Yeah, I used to. Uh, yeah, I have a home. It's awesome, and I got all my DVDs and my things and my, and my special posters. Here's a question that I always. <laughs> here's a question that I always ask people. How many roommates do you have? I just have one. I live with my girlfriend. Whoa! Look at that! Ooh, the crab, the the crab put got his claws on someone, huh? Okay, let me ask you this, Casey, because I've asked a lot of people this question, and I want to know your answer. The weirdest thing that you have in your refrigerator. You can take a second to think about it if you'd like. Picture the door, picture the drawers, picture the top, the bottom, perhaps even the freezer if that qualifies for you. But Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, weirdest thing in the fridge. Damn. Probably a little Petri dish I've been doing an experiment on. Oh. It's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't think. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I don't think Petri dish is second to anything. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, Petri dish. Number two, lemon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. A guy like me, that's all you need, you know. Fat riffs, one lemon, fucking fat ass petri dish full of all kinds of goo. Mystery I, shit. Can I have some of those gels out of the blaster? Actually, we have, uh, we ha- you're going to get your own entire gel blaster Very right after cool. this set. Thank you. Uh, Kate, show, Casey, available I, in stores everywhere. I would love to have you on the secret show Thursday if you, you can. I'd love to do it. Booked I'd on the show. He did. Two of my shows yesterday, two shows here tonight. This guy's going to continue. This is his Petri dish, the comedy mothership. Catch him here all the time. One of the newest, strongest employees. How about one more time, good and loud, for the future, Casey Rocket. Oh, yeah. Many people call him the Vanilla Gorilla, perhaps the Memphis Strangler, perhaps the Big Red Machine. This is indeed the one and only William Montgomery. A lot of people don't know this, but I was actually gaining weight to audition for the movie The Whale. Thoughts and prayers to Gotham City. They've had not one, not two, not three, but dozens of supervillains. I don't mean serial killers. I mean mass murderers bordering on war criminals. And what's even crazier, they all wear costumes. You know I talk about Mr. Penguin. (laughs) Redman told me a woman drove the Challenger spaceship. Is that true? He said she took a wrong turn or something. (laughs) I've been watching a lot of Shark Tank recently, so I thought I would get on the show and pitch them some of my ideas. Do you all want to hear one? Shark Tank, but for kids trying to get adopted. (laughs) That's the show. It's just kids trying to get adopted. It's kind of loosely based off of Shark Tank. They can't find a house. They don't have a fucking family. They literally need to get adopted. Okay, that's my time. Oh my God, that is a true William Montgomery joke. I just heard that and I thought to myself, if I don't hear you do that every fucking set for at least the next few months, that's insane. That is so funny. So nice to be here. Tony, I discovered... uh, Something on eBay. I got a Floby. It's a it's an attachment you put on your yeah. Red Band knows about it. It's an attachment you put on your vacuum cleaner, and it cuts your hair for you. The vacuum cleaner sucks up your hair, and then the thing cuts it. Okay. So what do you? What's your plan? I'm using it tomorrow. Wow, it's on the way. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to follow this story closely. Yeah, super excited. It's called a Floby. It's just this attachment you put. 
onto the end of the v- vacuum cleaner, and then it sucks your hair up, and yeah, it cuts it. So I'm super pumped. That's tomorrow. How short are you thinking about going with you? your 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 hair? Is famous. It's part of your uh, overall, you know, uh, brand. I don't know. I'm gonna just try to get it as short as possible. I have to pretty much to disguise myself. I I was in in. Can somebody kill whoever that was? Who? <laughs> Red Band, can you get your fucking gun out and fucking murder that dumbass who just fucking said that? Show yourself. Who the fuck was that? Seriously. Who was it? I have him pegged for over here. I know that you're looking. Oh, is the, was it that guy in the hat? That creepy looking piece of shit. I literally have a gun in my fucking waistband right now, you piece of shit. You are lucky. I'm on parole, or I would fucking murder your ass right in here right now, so. Wow. I'm trying to talk about a floppy, dumbass. I've been preparing for two fucking weeks to talk about a floppy, and it didn't really work out, and now you're fucking messing with me, you piece of shit. What do you want to do with that guy? I think I want to kiss your ass. (laughs) Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Kinda, yeah. Take your hat off, man. Let me see your face. No, he's a coward. He's a coward in the dark. Yikes! Oh. Look at that. Oh. Looks like somebody had a fucking floby accident earlier. <laughs> Seriously, holy shit! There's spots in your fucking head. Yikes! All right, sit down, you creepazoid. Jesus Christ! Don't make a big deal about it. What the fuck? incredible. So, William, what's been happening? You were just in Vegas all weekend? I was. I went to my first NHL game yesterday. Had a lot of fun. I actually bet $20,000 that Purdue would make it to the finals. So now I have this bookie literally after me. His name is Jonathan Taylor Thomas, which is so funny. He has that old actor's name. It's not him. But he's literally on my trail right now. He's literally gonna find me, I think. Yeah, I bet 20K on fucking Purdue, and they got knocked out the first fucking round. <laughs> wow. Have you, thought about, have you thought about perhaps murdering the bookie that's chasing you around? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there he is. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, how did I not recognize your ass in Vegas? You had like a different hat on or something. There was Is that Jonathan Taylor Thomas? You told me your name was Jonathan Taylor Thomas. D Madness, why would you lie to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, William, what else is going on? What else are you passionate about this week? Went to a really great breakfast buffet earlier today. I think I'm going to open one up. Uh, I love breakfast buffets. I mean, it had, God, there were chicken thighs. There was asparagus. There was all this stuff. Apple pie. It was the best breakfast buffet. Can you give us some more examples? Of the yeah, I mean, I had, breakfast, yeah, I mean, I had like some sponge cake that was out of this fucking world. Some cornbread? Holy shit. <laughs> what else? Uh, cornbread for breakfast? Yeah, cornbread for breakfast. This is a very weird breakfast buffet. Yeah, cornbread for breakfast. <laughs> you know Mr. Penguin was there. <laughs> what else was on your plate, William? Shit's a top sirloin. <laughs> what else? Yeah. Man, I had some mashed potatoes and shoot. What, what else was on your plate? Tell you us. know I had some gravy on top of those bad potatoes. <laughs> Come on. You know I had some gravy on that shoe. <laughs> Y'all know I love gravy. <laughs> but yeah, go- oh my God, it was there was yeah mashed potatoes, Did gravy. Did you go back for a second plate at this breakfast buffet? You know I went back for thirds. <laughs> what was on your plate the third round? Oh man. Oh, what was that? Is that my dad? Is that my drunk father here today? God, that, that's a, it's a big... Guy. Somebody murder this piece of shit! I'm having the set of my life up here right now, dumbass! This is literally the set of my fucking life, and you're fucking throwing riches in... Seriously, somebody drag this guy out of here. I owe Jonathan Taylor Thomas $20,000! And I don't have that kind of money right now. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's so silly. <clears throat> so silly. So, Ron, you've seen William a bunch of times. Just I love a, William. I do. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> He's a wild, wild boy. Uh, yeah, I, I think Ron, I was thinking it was so funny because I heard you call David the N-word and the green worm a couple weeks ago. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, i tell you. I'm what, kidding. I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't say that. Somebody said, did you use, you were on that some kind of, a, uh, he was doing a podcast or something. And, the, and somebody said, uh, how many times did you use the N-word? And he said, none. And, I, and then I used the N-word saying that's what he was going to, that's what he meant. <laughs> right. He didn't mean right. no, he the didn't N-word's mean... not none. Right. So there it, was a reason for it. You know, it was very funny in context. Yeah, it killed so hard. <laughs> very funny. It killed so hard. If you were there. Yeah. Yeah. William, been, did you uh, win any money in Vegas, or did you lose any? He said huh? he lost twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, were you not listening to no, me, you stupid piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> What's all over your shirt, Red Band? Are those crumbs from like Oreos, or do you have Oreo crumbs all at what? Seriously, what is that? Uh, there was this younger comic on earlier. It was. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he he was doing gay for pay. So. Uh... <laughs> it's dried cum. William, any last words before we put a ribbon on this thing? You can find I've I've uh, I opened up my Etsy store. You can find it. It's at it's you search for Floby. I'm actually starting to sell Flobies tomorrow. So that's honestly is why I brought it up. Yeah, find me on my Etsy store. It's Mr. Floby. Is that something you plan on uh, doing for a long time or you think you're going to end it soon? Yeah, no, I mean, depending on how much money I fucking make on it, I'm probably never going to fucking stop selling these fucking Flobies because I need the fucking money right now. Things are tight. This has to work for me. No, literally, this has to work. I put all my, I bought fucking $100,000 worth of Flobies the other day. Oh, my. This has to work. Are you ever going to stop? I ain't ever going to stop selling this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, William <laughs> Montgomery, everybody. Yeah. And Wait, hold on. I'm about to ask a serious question. I've been back there the whole time. Why does it smell like fucking vomit up here right now? What is going... I didn't download the Oregon Trail and have half my family die of dysentery and almost drown trying to ford a river just to have 200 years later a bunch of purple-haired freaks complaining about pronouns. Growing up, my mom wanted me to date Anne of Green Gables. Instead, I ended up with Tamberly of the Electric Cheetah. It's like a strip club reference. Okay, let's... <laughs> I don't know if y'all have heard, but California is trying to ban Skittles. Wait, trying to ban Skittles? They might as well be trying to ban water. Y'all know I love Skittles. Okay, and then hold on, I have a fortune cookie. Let me see what's on this fortune cookie. <laughs> nice catch, bitch. Holy shit. <laughs> Red Band is so old, I asked him if I should join the Union, and he said, no, join the Confederates. Okay, that's my time. Thank you. <laughs> William Montgomery. Absolutely incredible that a random fortune cookie would have a red band joke in it. I know, that's so weird. Amazing. Another very, very fun set. How do you feel, William? I feel pretty good right now. I just learned about Flipper, that dolphin that's smart as shit. I've been watching through the first season. I finished first season last night. It's you so good. You watched the whole first season of Flipper? Yep. That dolphin is so fucking smart. What kind of... Where'd they find that animal actor? I don't know. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's the noise. Dumbass, good job. That's fucking a dolphin noise. Yeah, I love Flipper. I mean, he's so smart. It's a mammal, but that's, a fish, too. Uh, yeah, that's, that is incredible. So you've been watching Flipper for the past week straight? 
Yeah, pretty much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Past week straight, drinking a bunch of Welch's grape juice. I got a bad kidney infection, and my doctor prescribed Welch's grape juice. So yeah, I've been Wait drinking a, a bunch of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking hillbilly doctor right yeah. there. <laughs> Are you? Sh- what do you mean hillbilly doctor? <laughs> Why did you use the word hillbilly? I'm trying to. Did you did you say that? Did you say hillbilly doctor? Because you look like you live with squirrels. What are you talking about? <laughs> Play dumb with me, Montgomery. Are you sure it was grape juice that he prescribed? Are yeah, you sh- Welch's brand grape juice. You're positive? Wait, hold on. I look like I grew up with squirrels. What did you just fucking say? <laughs> I think he nailed it. Yeah. He nailed it. Is that what you just said, that's dumbass? Right. Yeah, that's what I said. I just want to know for after this. I brought two of my fucking pistols in through security. <laughs> I have them both up in the green room, so I'm trying to get this right right now. You agreed? Okay. What do you think about it? What do you think? I think you're great, dude. You're my favorite one. Cool, thanks. I kind of don't believe you, dude. <laughs> fucking piece of <laughs> shit. What the fuck? I've been watching Flippu! <laughs> I swear it's making me smarter. How much that dolphin is so fucking wise. How much do you love Flipper? Man, y'all know I watch Flipper almost every single day. <laughs> Are you ever going to stop watching Flipper? I watch Flipper pretty much every single day. Uh, I'm probably not ever going to fucking stop watching Flipper. I mean, literally, he's like a Judge Millian of the water. Judge Millian is such a wise Latino woman. He's pretty much the Latina version of, fish version of Judge Millian. I think that's my main attraction to Flipper. It's like a Hispanic lady dolphin version of Judge Millian. You've been watching a lot of TV, huh? I have been. It's my fifth day not taking Adderall. I had a horrible Adderall addiction, and now I'm I'm not on it. So, yeah, I've just been watching fucking Flipper. I mean, he literally is such a wise little water mammal. <laughs> and he's really been helping me get through it. I was taking Adderall every day. You knew, you knew that, Tony. And then now, luckily, I've stopped. I, Dude, actually, I, I want to get addicted to Adderall and then get off it so I can appreciate Flipper this much. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to take more than that, dumbass. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Holy shit. <laughs> going to take a lot more than Flipper, dumbass. <laughs> but I hope you do get to a point where you enjoy Flippers. He has a lot of parables. He has a lot of stories to tell. Can you give us an example? You watched the entire first season. Can you give us a synopsis of one of the episodes? One of them, there were a bunch of people down by a lake um, waiting to hear him talk, and there wasn't enough food, and somebody had, like, a fish and some bread or something, and he ended up turning that piece of fish and bread enough to feed, like, thousands of these people. Um, That was one of the good ones. There was this guy who had leprosy, which is such a weird disease. You don't see leprosy a lot on television, but, yeah, he had a leprosy, and... He went to go see Flipper, and Flipper literally put his hand on his head and healed the leprosy. There was a guy filled with demons, and he got all the demons out of those guys. I mean, that's how holy Flipper is. I haven't gotten to the end. What? What? Yeah, I know you're not giving me a fucking spoiler, jackass. Holy shit. Wow, that is so interesting. Uh, the the flipper story that you told sounds familiar. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, it might be like Swiss Family Robinson or something. I knew that was popular around when Flipper came out. It might be a Swiss Family Robinson thing, or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So what are your plans with the remaining seasons of Flipper? And are you looking forward to it at all? Yeah, I think I'm going to wait till 2024, till the ball drops, and finish season two. Milkman, I'm going to check in with you over there. Have you asked Flipper into your heart yet? <laughs> I'm talking about a fucking mammal that talks to some boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm worried about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about asking him. 
<laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting, William. <laughs> So, it's uh, not that funny, Red Band. Nothing. <laughs> what, I don't know what's going on over there, dumbass. You did say that Flipper was in a lake. Yeah, he's a freshwater <laughs> dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> like the kind you find in the Amazon. Yeah. Those are really smart dolphins in the Amazon. They have little eyes. Yeah, he has these little beady eyes. It's really weird. <laughs> you like his eyes? Yeah, I love his fucking eyes. I mean, they're this sweet green color. They're kind of like Red Bands. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, when I get lonely at night, I just start looking at Flipper's eyes. And I've got to tell y'all, I can't get enough of looking into that little <laughs> fucking dolphin's <laughs> eyes, okay? And you're sure as shit not going to tell me I can't fucking look at Flipper. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look at him. How much do you love looking Man, at Man, I love looking at Mr. Flipper! And I love Skittles! And that flipper really is going to save my life one day. When I do decide to fucking accept him into my heart, I'm going to let you all know, but I'm going to do it maybe tonight. So I'm super yeah. excited about that. And then going to heaven. I'm going to end up going to heaven, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I'm going to end up in heaven. When you get to heaven, William Montgomery, what do you think is going to be waiting for you? Two king-size butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> It sure as shit better be fucking two king size butterfingers. Do you have those in Australia? Do you have those in Australia? Every year, sir. That's my Australian accent. Every year, sir. Are you saying there he is, sir? Yeah, there he is, sir, with the Australian twang to it. Okay. Name some more things excitedly that you're looking forward to seeing in heaven. Peeps, uh, those chocolate eggs with the with the really yummy yolks inside. The Cadberries. Cradberries. Cradberries. Yeah, right. Cradberries. Cradberries. You're saying that wrong. Blackberries. Cradberry. Cadberries. You mean? What else do you think is gonna be in heaven waiting for you, William? Probably an Easter basket. I cannot wait till Easter. And that's actually when I'm going to finish watching Flipper. It's probably over the Easter break. Uh huh. I get two weeks off. Okay, Milkman. Uh, my heaven may be a milk delivery when the husband's not home. All right. He's saying uh, he fucks me <laughs> when my husband isn't there. We're having an affair. Bill Billingsley? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> You have always been a fucking slut. <laughs> I cannot believe you just said that shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I haven't been fucked in months, William. Why? Because my husband sucks. He's fucking his secretary and he's an alcoholic. She needs a little Stop. strawberry in her milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might be that strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> she wants you to Netflix and chill. <laughs> cool. <laughs> William, any parting words before we let you go? Giannis, you've seen William before, right? Or yeah, yeah, no, I've yeah. seen him. Yeah, he looks like he looks like. <laughs> Don't finish that sentence. No, no, yes. I can already tell. Don't fuck. I have an itchy tri trigger finger literally right now. Right. And I'm not even holding the gun yet. So You look like you robbed a house like a full family and took one piece of clothes from every member of the family. <laughs> <laughs> you got the kid's shirt, the dad's belt. <laughs> mom's jeans. And mom's jeans. One, one of the children's watches. Yeah, the children's watches. The head of the great great grandfather, <laughs> yeah. and, and the and the special ed kids' shoes. <laughs> yeah, just keep it going. What else can y'all say mean about me? I don't me? think I, I don't mean... think we're ever gonna stop. <laughs> Hold on, y'all never gonna stop. I'm never gonna stop. <laughs> I love breaking into people's houses. <laughs> I literally <laughs> love breaking into people's houses. Ladies and gentlemen, the great and powerful William Montgomery, Thank you. everybody. <laughs> The Big Red Machine himself. And like that, another episode of Kill Tony Down the Hatch. The Giannis Papas Hour, available everywhere. Make some noise for Giannis, everybody!
Are You Garbage? Make some noise for H. Foley and Kevin Ryan, everyone. His new special daddy is on YouTube now. I'm going to hand for Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. Her new line of clothing, which is absolutely cool as fuck, and I'm going to be wearing a lot of it very soon. Juicy Couture at JetskiJohnson.com. One more time, Jetski Johnson, everybody. All future kilt.